Welcome Pisces. I'm back with another video for you guys. So this is going to be uh, for mid month. Also guys, ooh. <laughs> also guys, this is going to be kind of like a uh, their feelings and how they view you and your feelings and how you view them. And then I'm going to do like a you know a mini read, okay, to try to put a story together. All right, so let's see what we get. The first three cards, guys, is going to be how you view this person. And then the second three card pair three cards is going to be how they view you. And then it's going to come all together at the end, okay? So let's see what we get. Pisces, 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 Pisces. What messages do we have for my Pisces? Pisces, we're going to see how you view this person. And we're going to see how they view you. We'll start off with how you view them. How does Pisces view their person? How does Pisces view their person? All right, if you want to check out the description box, if you would like to book a personal reading, um, as well as the order the money magnet oil. <laughs> the money magnet oil, y'all. That, that oil there is... <laughs> It's dope. All right, so and y'all don't mind my nails. They're just popping off today, so don't mind my nails. All right, so let's see what we got. How does Pisces view their person? Ooh, Pisces, you're spying. <laughs> you're watching this person like a hawk. All right, so you're viewing this person, Pisces. Um. You're spying on them. You're watching them with the Page of Swords. You're keeping your eye on them, okay? You're possibly watching them to see if they, you know, like checking on them and see what they're doing, seeing if they're single, seeing like what they have going on with that Nine of Pentacles, like just to kind of see what they got going on. You're not saying anything neither. With the Death card and the Page of Pentacles, like you're not saying anything. You're waiting for them to come towards you. You're not seeing a thing. But you are watching the hell out of this person. <laughs> Y'all are watching the hell out of this person. You don't want to extend. You don't want to extend yourself to this person. You don't want to express yourself to this person. So you're keeping quiet and you're waiting to, for them to come towards you. So you're just keeping an eye out. You're watching their page. You're watching what they're doing. You're getting the information that you need. Yeah. Four of Wands. And the Ten of Cups. You was once happy with this person. You was once, this is Twin Flame card, okay? So this is your Twin Flame that you're dealing with. But at once upon a time, you were very happy with this person with the Ten of Cups. There could have even been a marriage here or something that you, you've been with this person a while, okay? You've been dealing with this person for a while. But something happened, it ended and someone you may have felt like this wasn't it wasn't worth it okay the ten of swords and the seven of pentacles you didn't see any growth from the situation you didn't get any of you didn't reap your harvest with this person you're getting tired of waiting on this person to be the man or woman that you need them to be so some of y'all just you know started decided to cut this person off why's the four of wands here we have to this is definitely twin flame energy yeah See, the hard thing, like I said, for some of you, this is a marriage. You may, have, may be married to this person or you're in the separation period. And the Six of Wands. Some of y'all are dealing with the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Knight of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and the Five of Pentacles. This person is a player, okay? You're dealing with someone. This is why you're watching their ass so hard. <laughs> this is why you're watching them like that because you know that they will, you know, venture off. They don't take things serious. They hear one day and they go on the next day. And they may leave you feeling like this, hot and dry. Why is the six of wands here? And you don't feel, you don't, you don't, you don't want to give this person uh, your, all of your attention, okay? I feel like you're focused on your pentacle. Because they did you dirty before. King of Swords and the Six of Cups. You're focused on you, your growth, your abundance, your business, your uh, finances, your career. 
that is where your focus is because they did you dirty before. King of Swords and the Six of Cups. Yeah. Like so you're not you're not really excited to, you know, uh get this person off your attention, get them praise and all of that. You're not really interested in doing that with that four of cups, yeah. Yeah. But you think about this person a lot. With the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords, this person stuck in your head. We got the Strength card and the Moon card, the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody tried to keep something a secret, possibly a relationship or a connection that they have with someone else. They tried to keep it a secret. All right, so the Nine of Pentacles, you view this person. You're watching this person to see if they're still single. You're looking to see what they got going on, what they're doing. You're waiting for them to... <laughs> You're waiting. Like, you're just kind of, like, waiting it out. You're watching and waiting. This person has done so much stuff with the Five of Swords and the Ten of Wands. They've done so much messed up things, okay? <laughs> that you lost faith in this connection. And you lost faith in this connection. You walked away from this person um, and you moved on. You moved on from this person, but you still watched them. Yeah. And so I'm getting, like, you're going to wait till later. To take action. Yeah. You're going to see if they're going to put in any effort. And your guard is definitely up. Because you know that this person is a liar. <laughs> you know that this person is sneaky. Why is the queen of wands here? Knight of pentacles. They're slow to take action. They drag their feet. Like when it comes when it comes towards uh, fixing this or dealing with you. But they're a player. Like, oh, this is a very... They come around for sex, okay? <laughs> Definitely, they come around for sex. Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Like, they come in and they give you some good sex. And But when it comes to everything else, they drag their feet. Why have the Knight of Pentacles here? This is Capricorn's energy. Yeah, they they may ghost you. Like, they come in. They get, you know, they y'all have a good time intimate like when it comes to intimacy but this person is like dragging their feet and they sometimes they'll they'll even ghost you and then you see this as like it's not making any progress they're not moving fast enough for you you could definitely be dealing with the capricorn because they known for dragging their feet <laughs> all right so we got the five of cups and the empress and the temperance card you could be dealing with the libra or a Sagittarius or a Taurus. But I'm just getting like. I'm just getting. Someone here is crying over spilled milk. Okay. And somebody definitely wants to heal a connection. But somebody is going through. I feel like somebody is going through. Uh, a karma. A, you know karma. Karma. I feel like you still have a connection. You still, yeah. See, you're telling this person that. I feel like you still care about this person, even love this person. But you you done been around the block with this person. So you know what this person is capable of doing. So let's see how this person views you. Like, you ain't finna come around here playing them games. I don't got time for it. You come to me, you come to me all the way straight. Don't come to me playing. person view my Pisces how does this person view my Pisces okay we got the magician we got the knight of cups and the nine of swords okay oh yeah see you're constantly, you're on this person's mind a lot as well, okay? I'm getting like, they know that they don't deserve you. I feel like they don't feel like they deserve the love that you have to offer. The magician here, they want to manifest something with you. Okay, so we got, they're rushing towards you, okay? Yeah, see, now they want this connection. We got the nine of cups and the empress. They want this connection and they're running towards it like they're, <laughs> they're coming. Okay, they are coming. Whether you like it or not, they come in. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Yep. They want to apologize for the way that they walked out on you, left you. You know what? Why is the Page of Cups here? The King of Wands. Yeah, they want to apologize for their actions. 
moved on, how they, how they, how they, uh, how they did it, how they, how they moved. Look at this, King of Cups. Like they're really trying to express their, themselves. Okay, we got the Moon card, which is you guys' energy. Why is the Knight of Cups here? They're afraid to. They're afraid of your response. Okay, they're afraid of um, how you're going to react because they've been playing around here with the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Cups and the Three of Cups and the Empress. Yeah, this person. Definitely been been around the block. Mm-hmm. And we got the nine of cups. Like they've been getting what they want, their desires. They've been out here living their little fantasies, doing what they want to do. Um, but and, and you know what? <laughs> they know, look at this. The nine of wands and the seven of swords, they know that they're caught. You done caught them in their lives. They know that you know. Queen of Cups and the High Priestess, you guys, this energy definitely, your intuition on some point. And they know that they they they're caught up, so they're afraid of your reaction, how you're gonna respond. Got a King of Pentacles, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn. Some of y'all dealing with the earth sign. Why's the eight of swords here? The fool and the moon, yeah. Yeah, look at this, a stalker. <laughs> All right, they watch. They they watch you too, cause they're scared of to say something, so they just watch as well too. And like I said, they may have a stalker, or they're stalking you because I got the Empress and the Three of Cups. Definitely third party energy. Knight of Wands, yeah. Seven of Cups, yeah. Definitely been playing around doing them. And now somebody here has a stalker. Why is the nine of wands here? Yep, stalking somebody, stalking somebody's house. With the nine of wands, they could be riding past your house, watching your house. But, like, I'm getting very much so stalking somebody, stalking. Um, or they feel like you're watching the hell out of them, watching their moves. And I feel like they also, um, they got some options here, especially with the queen of wands here. And they need to, they feel as if, like, a, it's time for them to make a final decision, okay? But I feel like there's some stalking going on here. They think about you all the time with this nine of swords. Like, they worry a lot. Okay, we got the ten of pentacles, two of swords. Family could be involved in this situation. Someone's family might not like with the two of swords. Okay, someone may not like, um, they may feel like you don't like their family, Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? High Priestess. Three of Cups. They know that you know what they've been up to. Mm-hmm. Eight of Cups. And the world. Their intuition is also telling them that, that you know, that you will walk away and close this chapter on them. King of Pentacles again. Queen of Cups. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and you guys' energy. So they're trying to wait for for the for the right moment, okay? Because they know that they messed up. They know that they messed up. They know they did. And they feel like you're going. Their intuition is telling them that you're done for good. That you could really be done this time. I feel like this person does want a. Uh, a 50 50 relationship they want to go half they want to they want that type of relationship <clears throat> but their intuition is telling them this is why they're worried they're worrying because their intuition is telling them that you're going for good why is the ten of wands here yeah they won't be surprised if you're done with them because they did you wrong the justice and the five of pentacles and they know they did you wrong they know what they did. All right, so let's do a mini read.
What message is there for Pisces for the remainder of September? See, yeah, we got the Eight of Cups. Like, you walked away. Yep, Ace of Cups. You walked away. Your guard is so, you're so guarded. I feel like you're so guarded. Like, this, it's like you don't believe nothing that they're going to tell you anyway. Nine of Wands and the Moon. Definitely, like I said, someone here could be hiding something or there's a stalker here. But I'm getting like some someone could be hiding. But I'm getting a stalker too with the page of swords. Okay, it's like you can't hide you can't hide anything from me because I see you. I see what you're doing. I see what you did. And judgment, yep. Somebody has made a final decision that they are done, that they are out of here with that Eight of Cups, and they want something new. And I feel like it's you guys, and that's karma for their ass with the Justice card here. Yeah, that's karma, and it, that's how it is. That's how it works. We got the Strength card. So you guys having the courage to walk away. Y'all walked away from the situation, and the Queen of Cups. See, you, you put yourself first. You feel like you're the star. You know your worth. You know what it is. Like, you know what you bring to the table. And if you have to close this chapter, I feel like you're going to do it. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Yep. Yeah. This is, you feel like this is the chance, the perfect time to walk away and do this person how they did you or something to that nature. Okay. Why is the judgment card here? Yep. Yeah. See, some of y'all are, are contemplating on if you're better off single. Okay. Because this person fucked y'all up. This person got y'all messed up. Why is the justice card here? They had y'all real messed up. Yep. Look at this. This is even like, this is a breakup, okay? And I feel like some, the karma was that the person that they were dealing with could have possibly broke up with them. But there's definitely a karmic situation in this situation. <laughs> definitely somebody's dealing with the karmic. And I feel like it was them dealing with the karmic. They possibly chose somebody over you, and it did not work out. It didn't work out. Why is the strength card here? Eight of Wands. Having the courage to tell you uh, what they did, to tell the truth. Okay, so it looks like whoever in the recent past, somebody had the courage to speak up. Okay, got the lovers. Okay. This day... They, I feel like they were pussyfooting around on making a decision on who they wanted to be with or whatever. They were pussyfooting around. <laughs> That's what we would call it. <laughs> they were taking their time on making up their mind. Okay, so while they steady over here juggling, playing around, they finally got the courage to tell the truth. Why is the Queen of Cups here? But see, it looks like y'all got a multitude of options as well. We got the King of Swords and the King of Wands. It looks like with the Queen of Cups, like y'all got y'all. Look, yep. <laughs> Seven of Cups. Is it too late? Is it too late? Because y'all got other options, okay? The Five of Pentacles was in the reverse. And I know I just seen this card and it was just not in the reverse because I just, this card just came out. But it came out in the reverse. Y'all coming out of this bad situation. This person abandoned you, left you out in the cold, uh, left you to pick up the scrambles and pick up the pieces for yourself. Y'all got some other options. King of Swords, King of Wands. Y'all got a Libra Gemini, Libra Gemini Aquarius or somebody who's straight to the point, somebody that's that's blunt and and uh, you feel like this person is honest with you. You got a King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, somebody that's giving you that fiery, passionate energy. You ain't even looking at this person like that no more. You don't have to wait on this person anymore. You don't have to wait on them anymore. <laughs> Why is the Ace of Cups here? Like, y'all are contemplating. There's a new man, boo, boo Ace of Cups, and the Emperor. <laughs> a new man. Let's buy his money with the King of Pentacles. If this person not coming at you correct, you don't mind leaving them because you got some other options. All right? Pisces, I love, love, love that energy, boo, -boo. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I'm going to chat with y'all later.